Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, today we're doing a color match challenge. Um, Simple Jack Avery gave me a couple of Zoom colors and said, Chris, I want these colors. I want you to match these colors. So I don't know what this is called, but this is what we're matching. It is a brown green pumpkin with lots of purple flake, some black flake, and then some little gold flake. So, you might say, you know, hey Chris, that's a really simple color. What's the big deal? And you would be right. It is a simple color. There's not anything extraordinary going on here. But that doesn't make it simple to match. There's a number of factors here that we've got to get right. So, um, that's what we're going to do. I actually got, just got back from fishing earlier today. The fishing was not good. I only got six or seven good bites, only landed a few fish, um, one of which I'm going to put up on screen here that I was able to get the full catch on film. Um, the other ones, it just wasn't, they were short striking, you know, so if this was my bait, they were only biting the tail, for example, so um, not a great fishing trip today, but I made it back safely, the boat performed well, you know, you can only ask for so much. So. Anyway, we're going to do a little color match challenge here. Um, I'll figure out what this color is called, hopefully by the time I actually edit this video. But um, that's what we're going to try to do. And uh, let's get started. All right, so again, we have this kind of really brown green pumpkin. Looks like we have medium black, large black, medium uh, purple, and little gold. So I have my little gold. I have my medium purple, medium black. I think I see some bigger flakes of black in there, so I'm gonna get my big uh, black flake. <clears throat> um, I don't have a lizard mold. I actually have one on the way that a um, viewer of the channel made for me, so thank you so much. Um, that video will uh, happen whenever I get it. So we're gonna make some finesse worms, some ribbon tail worms, and then probably some bonus baits. Um, but it's a single solid color, so I'm only going to need one cup of plastic, so we're going to go ahead and measure out some worm plastic, and we'll be right back. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take my favorite watermelon color, uh, no, uh, no surprises here, dark watermelon, because it has the brown look of this watermelon, or of this pumpkin here, green pumpkin, but it's also green in a way, um, which if you hold this up to light, there's green in there. So that's what we're gonna kinda use as our base color. So, we're gonna go ahead and bring over two cups of plastic, and we're gonna dump a bunch of this in. Yeah, look at that. Don't you just love working in Florida? Even your pigments get moisture in them, bubbling up your stuff, but that's okay. Some bubbles will just work themselves right out. There's a difference between stirred bubbles and true micro bubbles coming from your resin. When your resin has moisture in it, that's 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 when it's bad news bears. But uh, okay, I think we need more. I think it needs to be a little more thick. All right, looking good. Yeah, that's 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 about right. <clears throat> so we're going to let this sit for a minute, and uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our flake after that, and then we'll see if we have a close match. And one little trick with bubbles, if I stir here, and I try to stir a lot, try to stir some bubbles into it, well, it's not really doing it. Hmm, yeah, the bubbles are pretty much all gone. I was going to say, a little trick is actually just to hit it with the heat gun. And any bubbles that have accumulated on the surface, you know, the heat melts the shell of that bubble, which releases the air. And uh, you can you can actually get rid of a lot of bubbles uh, that way. But they're um, they're pretty much dissipating out. All right. So let's look at this bait again. Definitely medium black. 
All right. So here's some medium black, and that will darken the color as a whole. And this is two measuring cups worth of uh, plastic here. Okay. So this is a half teaspoon, a little bit larger size. And then it looks like we have every now and then, just randomly, some of the larger black flake. So we're not going to put very much in. We're going to do about, I don't know, about yay much. All right. Not too much there. And then we need lots of medium purple. As you'll see, everything that's purple there is uh, is their medium size. Zoom likes to use uh, square cut, but we have the hexagon cut. And then this is little square cut, 0.015 millimeter gold. So we're using our 0.015 hexagon gold. And there's a pretty good amount of it in there. Um, so that's where we're gonna start with. And my mixture of it might be a little more vibrant because this has salt in it. And I'm not putting salt in mine because I don't want to cloud it up. I want to try to uh, have the color as vibrant and clean looking as possible. You know, you put salt in there, it does change it, it does cloud it up. I think I put too much gold flake. <laughs> oh my God. What do you guys think? That is a little rich on the gold. Oops. It's quite pretty. Uh, it's just a little much gold, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to go with it. <laughs> Definitely going to have to go with it. Let's make some baits, see what we get. All right, single injector. We're going to go ahead and fill it up. And we're going to go ahead and do our ribbon tails. Okay, and then we'll do one finesse worm and just see what we get to start. All right. So we'll just do those two for now, one of each, and uh, and just kind of see what the results are. So just kind of a little preliminary look. Obviously, you're looking at a full bait, and that's just a thin sheet. I still think this might be a little more brown, so I may have to brown it up just a little bit. But uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like once we get it out and uh, go from there. Okay, let's see what we have. Definitely a little thick on the gold. Let's, uh, let's just break two of them off here. Definitely way too much gold. And if we look, yeah, let's, let's look at the extremities here where you can really see the colors. You'll definitely see that the lizard has a lot more brown to it. You can clearly see that hmm time to brown up the plastic all right so the closest thing to a brown pumpkin I have is Carolina pumpkin aka brown pumpkin so we're gonna kind of tread lightly here two three four five let's see what five drops did so here's what the color looks like on the knife now let's uh this brown pumpkin stirred in it definitely already looks different from my point of view okay definitely more brown I'm gonna uh, let some drip on the table here that kind of gives you a good indication and then what we can do let me uh, point the camera down I like to uh, kind of compare it against the table so we definitely need more brown definitely needs to be darker okay the trick is to get it more brown and more dark without sacrificing the uh transparency of it because you still want to be able to see through the color okay so that right there is no good we'll stir in a little more color then add another little drop there so uh, I'm going to take the camera off real quick. Get a little closer here. Okay. So we definitely still need a little more brown. That one's just still lighter. So definitely need a little more. 
And we're just kind of going about five drops at a time or so until I have something that I think works. Okay. Yeah. That's really starting to look close, y'all. Let's see. Drip a little more down here. Take the camera, take the camera back off again. Ooh, yeah, look at that, y'all. Boy, look how close that is. We might be there. All right, so we're gonna try that. And, uh, oh, drop the cap. Sorry, I just wanna get this brown cap back off. So we're gonna make a little bit more here, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a ribbon tail and a uh, finesse worm. All right. Feels good there. Okay. This finesse worm going perfect. Definitely a lot more chocolate brown looking here. But I think that's true to the color. So I think those right there will turn out looking pretty nice. Drum roll! All right, see what we have. This should be a little closer. Oh, well, hold on. Okay, ooh. Ooh, looky, looky. Dang it, hold on, I gotta get my worms to cooperate here. All right, there are the worms. Eh. Here's the lizard. So obviously the lizard has salt in it, it has less gold, but the actual color of the plastic is really good. If I hadn't put so much dang gold in there, I think we might have this one perfect. So, if you're gonna match this color, do what I did, but do about <laughs> do about half the gold flake. But that is really, really close. And here are the finesse worms, looking all finesse and stuff. Yeah. Gosh, too much gold, guys. And the only thing you can do about this is add more new plastic to it to dilute it. So kind of lessen the amount of gold per, you know, little cubic whatever of plastic to just dilute it down. But I didn't feel like doing that because this is what I got. So I didn't get it perfectly, but I got it really close. If I was, if I was gonna make it again, I'd do almost the exact same process but less gold flake and if you really really wanted to get down to it you would put salt in it you know this one does have salt um so if i stretch it out you can see some salt grains in it i'm not big on salting my baits because it makes them tear so aside from the gold that's a match and real quick, we're gonna make some more. So we're gonna do another ribbon tail. Because we made two cups of plastic here, so we need to use it. Oh no, that's what happens when your molds aren't even. Ribbon tail and a finesse worm, okay. Always wanna to top off your sprues. All right, and some bonus baits. Just gotta get the other molds out here. Not sure if I'll have enough. Just drop my sunglasses, that's great. Not sure if I'll have enough for all three, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna back the camera up a smidge, okay. Hmm, what could the bonus baits be? Any guesses real quick before I, uh, I don't think we had enough plastic. That's all right. You can tell by the, uh, <clears throat> knobs there that it's a angling AI mold all right uh, I'm not gonna have enough okay well I got two out of three all right 
Cool, cool. All right. All right, the bonus baits. Huh, sorry, I can't, I hit the camera. Bonus baits are da, 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 jerk baits. Let's take a look. Yes, sir. Obviously, these are using worm plastic, so they'll be a little soft for what you would probably normally think of a jerk bait. Um, so you would probably tear through these a little quicker than you're used to, but boy, are they going to have good action. Speaking of which, we'll pour a couple little darters here. This is like a little crazy mold that uh, my buddy Brad made for me. He runs Viva Molds, also owns Oracle Lures. He made me like this crazy mold here that has uh, a different variety of things. So this plastic's getting pretty cold here, so gotta pour it quickly to get it in there. Well, hopefully, <laughs> golly, look how thick it is. Hopefully that'll set up. Hey, hey, there's one of the little darters. Aren't those pretty cool? Heck yeah. I'd, uh, I'd throw that on a Carolina rig down here in the south. Drop it on some largemouth. Come on, I can't get this one out. Well, I might have to let it set up a little more. But that's what it is. Pretty cool little bait. Okay, let's kind of take a look in here. Yes. Looky, looky, looky. Look at all that. Let's find the original bait. Definitely think so. The more I've been looking at these, I needed more um, purple. So more purple and less um, gold. And that would be just about it. So yeah, you can definitely see more purple in the zoom. So, but not bad for my first try at it. I definitely think, uh, yeah, you know, just more more purple, less gold, and I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, so not not bad, not my most spot on color match. And and of course, you know, if I were matching this for a customer, uh, you know, I would make it in a very small amount first. I wouldn't measure out two cups, and then I would I would get it, I would get the glitter ratios right. You know, I, I would do it a couple of times. You know, I'd measure out, you know, a half cup and, you know, two or three different Pyrex cups just until I nail it down. Um, but, you know, that's not bad. That's not a bad starting point. So, yeah, pretty cool. Not bad. I'd like to see it in a lizard. I do have a lizard mold coming. Um, so hopefully whenever that arrives, we can uh, have some fun. So, anyway not 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 bad can definitely be uh better so but that's that's how it goes you you try to improve each time you try a new color well all right guys uh if you can't tell by looking at me it is hot i'll bet i went fishing in 100 degrees this morning so anyway i have quite a spread of baits here if you guys are interested shoot me an email i'll send them your way um, i will definitely put these up for sale um so world's worst fishing at gmail.com uh, Simple Jack, if you're watching, if you want these, better holler at me. Um, but yeah, you know, he, he gave me four different colors and said match them. And, uh, and he really wanted this one matched. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll work on it tomorrow. Um, so I, I just, I kind of said, you know what, I'll film my first attempt at, you know, matching this color for a buddy. So um, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going on vacation. Um, for the rest of the week so today is july 2nd um so i'll be away from the house and away from the fish cave um i'm try gonna try to film a little bit down on the island do a little blogging hopefully it's relevant to the channel so um yeah we'll definitely pick back up when i get back but uh again thank you guys so much for watching and uh we'll see you next time